Hello everyone, in this video we are going to learn about how to define a new alert under Mason Water Data Information System. Click on Create Define Alert on the left side of the panel. Once we click on this, a new pop-up window will appear on the screen wherein we will fill out all the mandatory information which is related to the alert. N is the number of messages which a subscribed user will receive. Once we fill out all the information, we can click on this icon to save the information. We can now see that an alert has been added to our system. Click on view option. Now here we have to set up some threshold limits for this alert. Click on this add icon to set up the same. Here we can select the station for which we have uh, for which we are setting up an alert. Let's say for example, this is real-time weather station. Select the parameter. So this means that if the value of the temperature at real-time weather station will reach below 20 degree Fahrenheit, then the subscribe user will receive an alert via, via email or a text message now click on this to save the information so this is how we have defined a new alert in, under the system now once we click on the alert on the external system we can see the same under the warning systems that and if the user want to subscribe to receive a warning message then a user can subscribe for the same click on the checkbox on the way you a user wants to receive a message from the system now we will now receive an alert message or email from the system if it will go below the threshold limit as we have defined inside the internal system. We can also define a custom alerts for this. Let's say for example go to the project mm -hmm. On the external system itself, we have a define an alert option. So if a user wants to receive an email or a message from the system at the temperature say 25 degree Fahrenheit and the frequency say 24 through email or SMS, then a user can set up an alarm for this. And we can now see then the that this operation has been executed successfully and this alert this custom defined alert will be seen at my custom alerts so this is how a user can define alert inside the system and he or she can also subscribe for the alert inside the Mason water data information system. Thank you for watching this video.